Hi, Dr. Kent Holtorf here with the Holtorf Medical Group. I want to talk today about side effects of medications and kind of the marketing and business side of, of medicine. And you, we're just bombarded with these uh, ads for drugs and just you know, massive amounts of, of uh, money being put into uh, the marketing of these drugs. And actually very little now is being put into research and development, much more into marketing. And we're finding because of that, drugs, certain drugs classes are way overused and resulting in significant side effects because they're not being selectively used on the appropriate patient. And the latest one out was Avandia, which is a new medication used for diabetes. Um, I myself was excited about it, new class of drug when it first came out, but quickly I and many other physicians stopped using it many years ago because the studies were showing actually increased risk for heart disease rather than decrease. But it did help blood sugar. And but doctors did typically continue to prescribe it because they're being bombarded, uh, you know, from the drug reps that come into their office and just showing them the positive results. Also, you know, the drug, uh, the medical societies. Who are they funded by? Drug companies. So they want to actually make sure and, and, and use those drugs and not say anything negative about the drugs. And which is why these medications have taken, you know, five, seven years before even anyone is talking about these negative results that were shown five years ago. So this is a problem with many medications. And one big one I think is, is going to really uh, rear its ugly head is with the bisphosphonates for osteoporosis. Doctors use it, they think they should put it in the water. If you have osteopenia, which is low bone density or osteoporosis, um, you, they give you a bisphosphonate, such as Fosamax is, is a big one, Boniva. And what they're finding is that they, they are good for a couple years, but after that, you may be having an opposite effect. Because well, the body's always breaking down old bone and making new bone. You walk down the street, you get little micro fractures, your body has to repair that. What these medications do is they kill off the osteoclasts, you don't break down old bone. Okay, that's fine, but now you're making new bone on top of old bone. So you don't break down the old bone. And over time, over a couple of years, the bones get very brittle. And what they're finding now is people are getting double femur fractures. And a big one is, is a high percentage of patients, uh, up to 10%, they go to tooth pull and their jaw disintegrates because the jaw is so brittle. Um, so these drugs are very worris or worrisome. Um, and I think they're way being way overused and people get wanting to put them in, in water. And so everyone just gets better bone density. So very problematic. There are talking about now is you should go off of them for a number of years. But again, doctors are very behind and they're only kind of listening to what the drug rep says. So it may not be 10 years till they actually get this information. Studies also showing significant increased risk for esophageal cancer, fatal arrhythmias with those medications. So really make sure your doctor knows about these side effects and can discuss those with you. Um, other medications, statin drugs, cholesterol, cholesterol, cholesterol. Let's lower cholesterol. Uh, that's the you know that's going to uh, solve everyone's heart disease problem. The problem is that it's, cholesterol is not really the big issue. Is that for instance the, the medication Vitorin came out showed uh, um, uh, significant reduction in cholesterol, increased risk for heart disease. Uh, so it's not really a cholesterol problem. These medications work more through inflammation. Now, studies are now coming out showing these medications will likely increase the risk for breast cancer. But it's, it's interesting how no one really wants to do a huge study on this, but it kind of seems like they don't want to know. Um, other studies that um, side effects that are rarely discussed, antidepressants, significant bone loss with antidepressants. So make sure you talk to your doctor about that. So really, you know, what's going on is the days of just listening to your doctor are gone. You really need to be an educated consumer, an educated patient. Go on the internet. There's great information. There's also misinformation. So you want to be able to talk to your doctor about that, bring the information and say, hey, I read this. What do you think of this? If he discounts it and says, stop doing that, find another doctor. You need a doctor who you're going to uh, be able to be work as a team with you for your best health and has your, uh, your, your best interest in mind and not just how quickly he can get you in and out of the office and prescribe a medication. So that's what you deserve and, that, and that's what you need to find.